All right, let's get to some breaking news. So the Houston Astros are down a reliever for the entire 2024 season, and it is one of my favorite players, so I'm pissed. Um, Kendall Graveman, <laughs> right shoulder surgery, friend of the show, out for the rest of the season or for the entire season. The season hasn't started yet. I'm just looking at some tweets from some Astros people, including uh, Brian McTaggart, who said um, the team is focused on bringing in another reliever via free agency or trade. But remember, Dana Brown said at the winter meetings he did not want to overpay in the relief pitching market. Well, <laughs> that, that might have to change. There's the news for you. Shoulder surgery. He's in the last year of his contract with Houston. He signed, let's see, a three-year, $21 million deal that covered 2022 to 2024. That was with the White Sox. White Sox traded him to Houston. Remember last year, too, at the end of the season, he was, the shoulder was barking. And he wasn't in the postseason for them. So they were missing him there. And then it sounded like some rest and rehab. And then he's thrown again, but it did not work out. So unfortunately, we won't get to see Kendall Graveman pitch this season. And that sucks for Houston. Kratz, it's a competitive division. I mean, the Rangers won it. Even though the Mariners have been weird this offseason, they're good. So for Houston, they've had a good bullpen for years. Hector Neris is a free agent. Not sure if he's coming back, but they might want to call him. Yeah, they might want to call him, and I assume it'll probably happen. I mean, they know they know him the best. They know whether the analytics say his, you know, he may have been getting too lucky. They may they may look at it and be like, no, this guy has been a dog for us. He has always taken the ball in big spots, and he throws the splitter as often as he can. But they're not in dire straits. As much as they want Kendall Graveman, you're going to have a resurgence of Abreu. You're going to have a resurgence of Montero, meaning like they're just, they're going to be back. They're going to be back. They're going to be elite and maybe not as elite as the end of the season that they were, but then you still have a closer. So you still have your seven, eight, nine guys. If those guys falter, it really doesn't matter who you bring in. So you do, I see them going after one other guy. Do they get a, you know, I, I even think like a Robert Stevenson might be out of their price range if they don't want to pay. They're clearly not going to go after Hater if they're not willing to pay. And they have a closer, so they don't want to go that direction. But they do, they have to shore up all their little leaking holes because I know Bre Bregman said it at the end of the year, you know, who knows what's, what it's going to look like if the Astros don't win the division. I guess we'll never know. It's getting closer. And a team in their division won the World Series. So they do need to patch up the holes a little bit. And this is this is a big loss. This is a big loss because this guy came out and gave them big innings. Okay, so there's two things of Astros. One, the Astros knew about this last year because I remember talking to Kendall Graveman in the playoffs, and he's like, I don't know what's going on with my shoulder. I know I can't throw a ball from, from me to you know the camera I'm looking at, which is about seven feet away. So – uh, he he was hurt last year talking to him. He knew he was hurt. Now, why he tried to rehab it, obviously. But the difference between him getting surgery in October and him getting surgery in January isn't that big of a deal because he was going to miss this season anyway. So the Astros knew about this. The thing for me, the Astros, Abreu is really good. Presley's been unbelievable for him. Montero was awful for him last year. They lost Stanek. He's a free agent. Maton's a free agent. They need a lefty in the bullpen. They went, they, they went last year basically with no lefties in their bullpen, which is almost unheard of. So they need to find a lefty in their bullpen. They also need to find another late inning uh, right-handed guy, whether that's Naris, whether that's whoever they want to find. But the Astros need help in the bullpen. And, and like Kratz said, for the first time ever, we're looking at it going, man, the Astros aren't a surefire thing to make the playoffs and win this division because the, the Rangers just won the World Series. The Mariners are going to win 54% of their games. The <laughs> Angels hopefully are better under Wash. I, I feel like the A's are going to still suck. But I, I think I think the Astros for the first time in years are vulnerable and they need to do something. Dana Brown, Jim Crane, they need to step up and say, hey, we need to sign somebody in the bullpen.